Sa kasalukuyan, kamas ay Martians. Today, we are going to be talking about the Desview R7P. So last week, Desview sent me over a Desview R7P for testing purposes. And I'm not really the gearhead to just basically buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and buy some gear. And then after reviewing it, I'm gonna sell it because I don't, I don't no longer need it. Well, the Desview R7P is something different. It kinda hit me different. Kasi, because for a creator like me, I'm a filmmaker myself. A videographer specifically I don't think that a monitor will fit my workflow way back then way before no, hindi ko pa natatry yung Desview R7P and then after Desview sent this item to me talagang nagbago yung workflow ko oh sige sabihin na natin uh, maraming filmmaker ko magamit ng ganito ng ganyan ng, ganyan, ng monitor ng ganito but for the type of creator I am for photography magagamit siya so first let's go over what's inside the box Inside the box, you are greeted with the monitor itself. You can see there are buttons up top, buttons down, USB port, and a headphone jack, HDMI in and out, batteries at the back. First of all, inside the box, there's a sunscreen or shade mount. If in case you're really shooting harsh outdoors, a manual cleaning cloth for your monitor, an L bracket, and a mounting plate. And this L bracket is going to be your best friend. A wire for a V-mount battery, a Desview USB for all your LUTs, an HDMI cable, another HDMI cable, and a rubber case for your new baby. First of all, to the feel. It feels really heavy, to be honest. Kind, kind of sturdy and premium siya dahil nga R7P. And ako ako siya surprise na hindi mo inaakala kasi binigyan ako ng Desview ng discount. And big shout out nga pala sa aking parents for giving me a gift. Um, actually, ito yun. I rarely ask them for gear because what I always do, I buy the gear myself. I never ask my parents for gear. Nagulat na lang ako na sila nagkusa na sabi sa akin na bibilan nila ako nito. Nung sinabi ko kasi one time, two time nagdrama kasi ako, nga sabi ko ay, ano ba naman yan? One week na sa akin tong Desview R7P. Tapos mawawala na sa akin, nagsisoli ko na mag adjust na naman ako sa workflow. Sobrang komportable ko na sa Desview R7P. And then it hit my mother hard na maybe bilan natin tong ano kasi napakasipag na tumag shoot si pagsipag but then ayun nabili sa akin yung monitor and ngayon na ako nag-share sa inyo na pinilan ako ng gear I don't really ask my parents to buy the gear I always buy the gear myself especially nung binili ko yung una kong camera never I never ask my parents because that's andun yung pride mo as a creator and, and it's really ewan ko sobrang grateful din ako and anyways carrying on the Desview R7P carries a NPF battery which lasts for almost hours. Hindi ko na nabilang. Basta, hindi naman siya, hindi nuisance or hindi hassle yung battery. Sobrang, sobrang, actually, dalawa nga lang yung battery na binili ko. And then, ang ginawa ko is, I actually bought an extra grip mount sa gimbal para ma-mount ko siya. Kasi hindi ko naman pwede i-mount to sa ibabaw ng camera then nakalagay sa gimbal. Hindi, eh, eh di yung mangyari nun, mabibigitan yung Sony A. Yung Sony ko. Yun. Tapos, another pro besides the NPF, the battery physically. I love that inside the box kasama kasi itong, itong grip na to na goma. So, hindi ko na siya kailangan uh, tanggalin pa para mas, syempre, protektado yung gear. And meron na siyang screen protector. Mukha lang siyang, ay, no, marami lang thumb, thumb marks. So, what's the con of this product? Syempre, masis, medyo, medyo masisira ang run and gun setup mo. But ideal talaga siya. Masasabi ko na ideal siya. If you're planning to buy a monitor, or your first monitor, kasi this is my first monitor. I, I, I never really bought one. I, but when I tried this out, it really changed my workflow. I don't care kung masira yung run and gun setup ko. As long as I have that experience, I have that lot preview. Yung lot preview, isa sa mga malulupit na features niya. Sobrang dali. Kasi, first of all, you have to master exposing your camera. And then, paglagay mo ng lot, malalaman kung okay ka. So, pagdating mo sa post, mas pabilis ang work, mas pabilis ang pag-edit. I mean, that's what these gears really are for. Para rin, para mapadali yung workflow mo, para mapadali yung paggalaw mo, mas sure volume framing mo, especially if you're using a manual lens. 
So when it comes to usage, when you double tap the screen, a menu pops up on the side. So there's exposure assist, focus and composition, blood configuration, display setting, system configuration. So first we have under exposure assist is false color. You can see when I click on spectrum, it changes the whole monitor to where the exposure or kung saan yung mga overexposed parts ng shot mode. There's also an airy option, but honestly, hindi ko gagamitin to sa APS-C camera, so it stays there. Also, there's zebras, kung walang zebra yung camera mo. Histogram, wherein meron ditong position layer. Dito sa baba, may kita nyo. And also, under ng histogram, you have brightness and RGB. You have both those options and you have the selection tab here or selection path here kung saan mo gusto ilagay yung histogram. But for my end, I'm not gonna use that. So waveform, meron din namang luminance and RGB. So also, meron din tayong position option dito sa side. Vector scope, wherein, ayun, meron din siyang place kung saan mo siya gusto ilagay. But you know, under exposure. And lastly, meron ding all wave yun. So gusto mong ilabas lahat. Ayan, lalabas siya lahat. All wave. And also, HDR. So ang HDR, meron siyang HLG and PQ. Next is focus and composition. So first, meron tayong tinatawag na single color. Pag pinindit nyo siya dito, pwede siya maging red, green, blue, and gray. Next up, is focus speaking kung saan pwede ka makapili rin kung red ang focus speaking mo makakapili ka din kung green blue white and yung strength ay ma-adjust din dito sa baba kita nyo naman sana nakikita nyo next is center mark also one of the important things when it comes to focusing safe area kung saan nakikita ninyo it's also another guideline when it comes to focusing mark ratio ito malapit to 4x3 16x10 16x9 meron siyang mark ratio na ganyan so astig diba grid lines one of the things that I use ayan may kita nyo naka 3x3 4x4 5x5 6 up to 8x8 and also lagyan ko ng kulay yung talagang super Aussie ko ng filmmaker audio meters yan ginagamit yan hindi ko tinatanggal pwedeng left or right sa akin ay nasa left next up in the menu is yung lot configuration so sa may kita nyo meron syang lot and meron custom USB pag nakakabit yung USB pwede tayo mag load up ng lots depende kung anong lot ang gusto nyo and here sa lot meron na akong pre-loaded lots katulad nyo minilagay na ako ng lot XP1 shifter lot number 2 shifter lot number Number one. Actually, yung mga lots na yun, ginagamit ko yun sa food. Kaya, yun. Next up is display setting. There is an aspect ratio tab. Yan, ma-adjust mo yung aspect ratio. If you're specifically using a cine lens or an anamorphic lens, kasi usually sa APS-C, pag nagkabit ka ng anamorphic lens, may tendency na iba yung viewing. So, this monitor will save you from that viewing experience. Makikita mo ng maayos yung preview ng shot mo. Display flip, yan. Zoom. Gusto mo mag-zoom in, mag -zoom in sa frame for a better focus. Pixel to pixel, you really wanna scale in. HV delay, freeze, battery notification, syempre importante yan, nandyan din yan sa akin. And anamorphic, but it's the same thing with the aspect ratio para. Lastly, system configuration where you can customize all the buttons, layouts, languages, duration ng pagkapatay ng monitor akin naka-close hindi siya nag-auto shut down meron din color kung gusto may adjust yung color manually so sa color temperature pwede mong iset yung Kelvin value niya kung 65 56 whatever you prefer but for me naka-user lang before meron din backlight button para gusto maliwanagan yung screen mo kung medyo you know if you're shooting outdoors sound of course meron yan kasi merong headphone jack sa ilalim so hotkey mount is where you can assign all the buttons customizable yan reset button para ma set yung buong monitor update kung kailangan may update yung monitor at yung status kung saan nakalagay yung inputs frame rate backlight resolution niya 4k nakalagay scan mode so yan yeah, aspect ratio so yun yung monitor itself so what's the only gripe i have with this camera i mean ito lang itong mount lang na to ito yan 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 ito ito yan yung mount na yan i have to carry wait lang the only gripe i have with this is this Ito, parang makeup channel. I have to carry this wrench around. Para lang yah just sa. Eh, so workflow ko constantly na adjust ko to. Pababang ganon, pataas. Sure, pag gumano ka, alam niyan. Ganon siya, ganon siya nagwork para sa akin. But overall, but overall satisfied ako sa product. And do I recommend buying this as your first monitor? Because this is my first monitor. It's yes. Bukod sa merong lots, bukod sa yung brightness niya is kayang kayang tumapat sa arawan. Bukod sa it takes in a good battery. Sure. Bukod din sa meron siyang HDMI out para maikabit mo siya sa TV para ma preview ni client ko niyong shoot mo. Do I recommend this? Yes. It's a big yes. Yeah. Kaya wala akong promo code para sa inyo but you can definitely buy this product at their website, their Facebook page. It's all linked down 
below. Once again, thank you very much to Desview for giving me a discount for this item and I'm really pleased. Malay nyo magpag-giveaway ako, malay nyo kumuha ulit ako sa kanila tapos papag-giveaway ko para naman. You know, some of you guys will know the benefit of this. Malay nyo, sa next video, malaman nyo kung may giveaway. At syempre, kung out of this world ka, wag na wag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at TheMarcoMars. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace out.